Hey, venture capital uh, usually operates uh, companies under uh, losses, right? Because you're reinvesting everything into future. And that future either is coming uh, in as people investments or technological investments or uh, scaling up your go-to-market, right? You know, so usually it will, it's one of these three areas that you're... So we want founders who are a very specific about unit economics of a particular unit of sale, right? You know, if you're selling to an enterprise you know, you're charging them 150,000. What is the cost of providing that service? Uh, what, uh, so that means that what you need to deliver 10x value from, from what you charge, and you need to be able to show that ROI to your customers, right? So that's where we focus a lot of our diligence around. And then we see, okay, how many such kind of sale you can do? What's the total market size? You know, build it up bottoms up, right? But if that justifies, you, you, we are okay operating the company on, under the loss so that, but you have to be, eventually you have to kind of have a roadmap towards profitability because you cannot be perennially non-profitable uh, because as you get to closer to profitability, you, you, you find different class of investors who can come in and take the company from that stage to the next stage, right? But it is okay in those early days to kind of operate the company be, uh, because, on the contrary, if you're kind of completely focused on bootstrapping yourself perennially, you you miss the market sure. because you 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 miss making those investments, and somebody else will come and accelerate and you know build that uh, build that you know ten x advantage. You know, let's say you're investing only a little in technological advancement, but the opportunity is there. Somebody else is going to come and capitalize it. Let's now say you have the technological advancement. Now, you, if you don't build the go-to-market team around you uh, to kind of sell each of those things, but uh, they're all profitable units of sale, then somebody else will come and you know solve the distribution problem, right? So you've got to solve both the technology and the distribution problem to be a credible enterprise company. And that's where you have to invest ahead of time.